to hear like from everyone like from their experience i would like to tell you firstly that uh, you were at the right place like the sap success factor i will drive this session each and every session from the implementation perspective only and uh, whatever the things like we required into the sap success factor by each of the phase in the implementation how we will have the pointers for the correction of, of the implementation or the completion of the implementation so i will start from that onwards only that and from the system demo perspective also i will go through that and from the ppt perspective which is the standard ppt use of uh, success factor so you can understand in in a better way like what is like happening in the success factor as per the new releases which we are having because in sap success factor in 6 months in in a one year we will have the releases on which like you know that every skills or every module will get uh, updated as per the timeline and the time frame so we will have the 6 months in which we will get the new releases as per now we will have the uh, that is 1s 2024 release in which we have some new things for success factor so to understand i am just uh, sharing my screen just give me a second Okay, is this visible to all? Hey, yeah, okay. it is visible. Okay. Okay, so uh, today is the first session for success factor. This, these are like, uh, if you want to contact like uh, the number at the email ID, it is mentioned in this here. So you can have in the later on the last slide also after this. So I'll start. Just give me a second. okay so what is like the agenda which are having like for two or three sessions as of now that is what is the employer central core structure we are having how do we implement ec what are the iterations we are we will be having in the implementation how we will do the testing basically what is the main topic that is the foundation data and how this is related to the sap hcm because some of them some of you like also worked on to the sap hcm okay most of the clients which we are having as of now in from the us from india from and like global uh, clients which we are having so most of them like are using the sap hcm how they are migrating their legacy system that is sap hcm to this sap success factor so we would like to know and we would understand it how this migration will happen and that is from the legacy to the current system of the success factor so there are some important points that we are having as of now that is the foundation data foundation data workbooks which is very important in uh, while playing a role uh, in the success factor because this will have the workbooks like each and every information from the legacy to the current system of success factor what is the position management job profile builder some of you like also are from rcm so you know about the job profile builder also and uh, the position management workbook so i'll start firstly with the employee central core structure okay so you can see here that is the foundation data okay uh, any anyone like from your side like who has worked on to the company structure from sap hcm anybody wo worked on that okay no problem so foundation data is basically like uh, the org structure org structure means like there is a hierarchy in the company it means like you are at the recruiter level you reports to someone like as a to the your manager that is a recruitment manager recruitment manager is reporting to director director is reporting to someone okay so in this this is the hierarchy that is called the position hierarchy similar way we are having the org structure in which the hierarchy is totally depend on to the objects which is what is objects like legal entity legal entity is a company code so i'll tell you the one example for an example i'll take the example of reliance okay reliance is having the main unit or the main uh, legal entity which they are having this so uh, there are some business unit also business unit it means under the legal entity what we are having that is reliance trend some other reliance uh, capitals so these all things like under the reliance 
So in this similar way, we ha have the org structure in the foundation data. What is the job structure we are having? For an example, the as of now, we are having, uh, there is a one job uh, functionality that is the recruiter for which we are doing hiring. Second is the recruitment manager. So in this similar way, we will have the job structure. Similarly, as per like of the uh, positions, what we are having in the system, so we will define the pay structure also. Pay structure is having like of the pay grades. Are you able to see this one? Can anyone tell me? Uh, yeah, it is visible. Okay, and also like in duration of any, like in between of my any conversation or the explanation, if you guys feel like to ask any question, please ask. In the last also, we will have the five to 10 minutes Q&A uh, session. But before that, if you have any questions, please let me know. We will do that. Okay, so uh, after pay structure, we will have some sort of custom structures also. It means like uh, somebody wants to make some custom objects or custom things in the success factor. So we can have the libraries to make that custom objects all to onto the foundation data. So as of now, we are having basic, that is the org structure, job structure, and pay structure. If anybody wants uh, from your side, what, what is the base of the employee central core or the success factor? So that is the org structure, job structure, and pay structure in which we are um, make the system enablement and we will do the implementation for them. Okay, second point is the employee data. You, I think you, if you are referring each of the points, like from your, because everybody like in, in my session is from uh, the same background that is from the HR and um, from the SAP. So if you can refer your employee data, that is what is personal info portlets. It means like your biographical information, your phone information, your email, your social accounts, that is your personal information, which we are having. So after foundation data, we this is basically the architecture of what we can say how the EC is working in the success factor. So I'm explaining that part. In foundation data, that is already explained to you, that is org structure, job structure, and pay structure. Afterwards, we will focus on to the employee data. That is what are the personal information portlets and what are the job and employment information portlets. It means like in the personal information, we will be having around uh biographical phone email hello? and if hello I, i'm sorry i'm sorry to interject actually yes. um i got this link uh, and this is about human capital i'm leaving because i have to join the grc batch uh it was a no wrong problem. link sent to me yeah no problem, no problem so uh from here almost like employee data what is uh the employee data can anyone like uh, having any uh, reference from your current uh, system in your company with the employee data? As I explained, that is the personal information which you are maintaining in the, uh, if somebody is like from the recruitment background, so that they will uh, complete the personal information and the job employment information before hiring or after hiring of any of the employee. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah, uh, yes, sir. Vashi. Like I do after I like I do onboarding orientation process. Mm -hmm. So in the personal data, we will take their uh, that is mentioned ID cards. We take okay. that their emergency contacts number in mm -hmm. which organization they are fast in working, their phone mm -hmm. numbers, email IDs. Okay. And this kind of details we taking from them. So I do work on the employee data management, like I'm a part of employee data management. So we will deal with the cost centers, BU, SBU, or mm, legal entities, and as well as position ID creation. Yes. And uh, we will work on this, uh, what you can say, BU and SBU as well. So now coming to this personal information portraits. Mm. So yes, correct. We are working on the national IDs updates. Like completely we are working on the employee data itself. Okay. So, but not with the payroll part. So... Great. So uh, here, personal data address, yes, we will do that one as well. Okay. Because uh, we will upload the data. As Kiran has mentioned about like of the cost center and BU, yeah. that is a business the unit. And, hmm. will be the, uh, there will be a combination of like five, eight digits will be there. First four digits will be the location. 
which Correct. is called the uh, OU. And yeah. then the last phase will be the four courts will be the BU part, like which business related to there will be different types of part projects will be there, right? Yeah. So in that, that project, is, uh, that yeah. is totally Kiran depend on to the uh, client requirement. Because some yes. of the clients will require that in initially the call center will have the four, uh, uh, what we can say the letters from the call centers and other than from the BU. So we will okay. have that also like in the system. Also, other than this, we will have the uh, similar call center. For an example, we are using the call center that is for Delhi location. So we will maintain the Delhi as a call center there on the basis of the location. So it's totally oh. depend on to the location. Correct. Uh, so in the Delhi also, there will be different types of locations. Yeah, there. Like correct. One employee will be in different location. Hmm. For example, if you take Hyderabad, some people will be working uh, Madhapur, some people will be there in the different location at the type. For location part also, there will be like IN65, IN79. Like hmm. there will be different types, but in our organization, like we are maintained like that. So that is a combination of first four digits will be the OU, organization okay. unit, and last will be the BU. Great to hear from you uh, that uh, you guys like are having the, uh, I, I think the reference from the success factor to your current system. Okay, that is I think more relevant uh, to understand uh, the success factor architecture also. Okay, so if uh, now uh, uh, we'll talk about non-effective dated and effective dated. Okay, what is non-effective dated means like your biographical, your phone information or maybe the uh, email or the social accounts will be non-effective dated, will not change with the date if what is effective data your like the personal data your address dependents and the bank accounts so these are the effective data data which we are having in the personal information now in the job information if we'll talk about so non-recurring pay that later on we i'll explain each and every point as of now from the overview perspective that is what is having the non-recurring pay components and the termination and the employment it means like when the person is coming into the company so his employment information that is like his hire date his date of uh, that we can say date of joining or maybe the hire date what is his employee id that we will record into the employment information and in the job information what we will record that his manager his direct reporting manager his uh, business unit his cost center his uh, his all information regarding to terms of like of the position, we will capture into the job uh, portlet. So these are the employee data in which we will consist like each and everything from the employee post joining the organization. So this is uh, the employee data. Event and event reasons. These I, I will explain because this is the very different um, topic and this is very vast topic to understand event and event reason. <clears throat> Event is basically like uh, if you if you can uh, talk about like of the termination. So termination is basically a one event. Now termination is on the basis of voluntary or non-voluntary. That is totally depend on to the event reason. So somebody is due to the uh, uh, what we can say due to the salary reason, due to the medical reason. These are the event reasons we can say. And event is a termination. So there are some specific events which is derived from the SAP. We, we, we cannot change the that events. We can are not add also like the events in the system, but we can make several event reasons under the different events. So this we can call it as a cascading of the event and event reason. So, uh, this is about like a, what we can say, the hiring is having different event reasons, termination will having different event reasons. So this will drive in that way. I will explain the later uh, different topic or different session of the event reason. That is totally uh, a vast session. Now we will have the important session of uh, workflow. I will cover this also like this is a very vast topic of workflows. It means like for uh, approving of the, I'll take the example of the cost center also. So what is cost center firstly? So basically a tutor is working under this project for any of the client okay so this is the call center which we have maintained for that specific client or maybe specific location under which there is a specific cost is derived for that person for whole team so that is a call center which we are having in the 
company and that is totally depend on to the legal entity that is totally depend on to the business unit and these all things okay so for approving of any of the call center if you are changing any person like from location delhi to uh, gurgaon or to bangalore so there is a workflow workflow means like some approvers are needed i am transferring some person like from uh, maybe the location wise or maybe the pay wise or maybe any of the reason which we are having in the company so we need a approval onto the workflow so there would be a several approvers also or single approver also maybe the manager is a approver for any of the workflow or maybe the hr vps or the hr for, uh, operations or like for any of the person like which we are having in the company may we can make the approvers there the department head division head these can be approvers here any questions like uh, you were having on to the workflow and employee data okay no problem in the last we will have the qa session also so these are the people profile this this is the ui basically people profile like ec portlet and ec portlet is stand alone portlet these how portlets will look like okay so now i already talk about like the uh, whole structure i will now demonstrate from the system perspective that how it look likes the ui how it look likes and everything which i have explained to you okay just give me a second i am just sharing again okay so is this visible to all yes <laughs> okay so this is basically the ui for uh, the success factor which we are having as of now each and everything we ha have like in the system but we will explain one by one uh, in the every session of uh, the success factor training firstly what i have explained you i will explain you that is from the system perspective that is just give me a second okay what we are having in the org structure okay that we i i told you in the first call so this is the company structure overview and this is the position of chart and off chart i'll explain you firstly that is what is off chart that is what we are having in the off chart that is as like the business unit and legal entity and uh, that is the org structure pay structure job structure which we are having as of now we can have the data all here in this ui on this ui so the main thing which every company in the implementation needs to have that is the company structure and position of chart if i i'll tell you the things like for the implementation perspective that if you are implementing any of the project in the coming um, like of your project or once you will have the success factor uh, job so that position of chart and the company structure if you finalize this thing in the company itself like in the first go so i think you have solved the i think the much more important topic or the vast topic in the company because in this topic in the company structure overview everybody got stuck because they are having different hierarchies they are different uh, structures in their company and how you are migrating from that system to here that is very different so that has to be very like precise and that has to be very uh, elaborated like from their side and from our side that is very precise like in this way we can migrating your legacy system into your current system of success factor so in the company structure you can see here that these like uh, are some of my students have built up that these uh, structures so if we'll talk about the adani company structure that is just an example for that so we are having these things legal entity business unit division call center department and the people i will explain you after this once i'll demoing like from uh, the system then i'll explain each of the pointers uh, from the ppt itself also so if you will talk about the legal entity legal entity is on to the top level okay for for an example adani just give me a second okay this is the adani group so you can see here that adani group is the basic which i have told you that is the reliance just take an example 
and these are the business unit sub under the legal entity which we are having as of now this is very simple thing that we can uh, like what we can say the uh, configured in the system but that totally depends how the things which we have the requirements and how we got the requirement from the client that is very important to understand firstly okay so under business unit there are divisions okay these are the divisions which we are having for an example the enterprise adani will having the gujarat project and adani mumbai head office these are the different divisions which we are having under division we are having departments or we have the cost centers that totally depends from the customer requirement so we will have the de departments also or, or the cost center associations Okay, under cost center, we will have the department. In this way, they are doing that. So finance and account, they are having the first cost center. Uh, the executive office that uh, will have the second cost center, and the third is the information technology. So they are based on the basis of the what we can say job family. They are making the cost centers under which they are associated the departments there. Okay. So this is about the company structure, which I ex explained to you. Second is the employee data, which we are discussing about. So we have to, this is, these are the things which we are having onto the UI in the success factor. These, everything will have the different things. So just now I explained you on only the off chart. Now I am explaining you what is from the employee file. Employee file is basically the people profile. What is the profile which we are having as of now? And how like the things uh, we we are capturing onto the system that we have explained about the employee data and uh, other things. So th this is the basic thing which we need to understand firstly. So this is the personal detail in which we will capture all the things like about the employee. That is the first name, last name, and gender, his marital status legal entity, cost center, these all things they are capturing here. That totally depends on the client. Basically, some of the clients will only needs like here. What is that? That is the first name, last name, and the legal entity, and the gender here. Okay. Some of them requires much more uh, requirements here also. So that is totally depend on to how we are um, doing the configuration here from the back end that I will uh understand of i will give you the configuration perspective that is in the later sessions okay so basically this is the first thing that is now we are having the employment details okay so just give me a second firstly this is the main reason employment details in which we will capture the higher date the service date what is that the higher date and service date it means like from which if somebody joined the company okay that is on first january Okay, and he has uh, terminated or uh, Y, X, Y, Z reason from his voluntary or non-voluntary reasons. So he left the company on any of the date. Okay, and then he again come in the company as a rehire with the new employment or the old employment. That is a different rehire perspective, which I'll explain you. So that person service date is from the same date. And the new hire date for, let's say, he joined on in July and he first joined the company that is from the January 1st, 2014. So these two dates will give the clarification or give the idea that for how much duration this employee has worked in the company. Okay. The previous employment ID, it means this is very important uh, field for any of the implementation. Uh, while you are doing the implementation, for an example, they have the legacy system. For an example, SAP HCM, they are using currently. The client are using currently SAP HCM. Okay. So every employee in the SAP HCM is having the specific employment ID there. Okay. Now we are migrating from that SAP HCM to success factor. So success factor will start the uh, employee ID generation that is from first uh, or maybe the from 1000 to the 10,000 as per the uh, uh, ID generation number we will assign to the system. 
okay but the requirement is that the com- implementation client needs the same employment id that is from the sap hcm so we can capture that employment id also here in the biographical also or in the employment details also so this is very a uh, good feature which we are having into the success factor in which we can capture each and everything in the uh, system so this is about the employment details second is the job information okay sec job information is basically is having everything which we i am going to explain in the ppt that is on later part so in which we are having everything it means like job classification title it means uh, it means like on which position the person is working what is the title of that uh job on which he is working and what is like on how much days he he has to work in the company what is the weekly hours standard weekly hours as generic we are having only 40 weekly hours okay we will not have the different uh but as per the requirement we can make it the custom also but 40 is the sap recommended hours which we are using for every client uh employee class employment type is the person is full time or the part time we can make it here also the country uh these all things we can make here and this is the time information later part this is the totally different thing ec time of in which we will capture the holiday calendars work schedule time profile uh recording profile these all things we can capture later on i'll explain you on to the ec time of okay now uh again on to come on to the ppt just give me a second i'm explaining now on the ppt okay okay fine so again on this point i explained you these things workflows and event and event reason derivation uh, event reasons these are the different topics and i will explain you in the different session because as of now this is very vast topic so from the ui perspective also it is very difficult to understand these things so next we will explain uh, in the coming sessions also we will have now after this we will have uh, what is ec time of which i explained you so this is a different topic uh, just to give you the overview of the ec time of and what we are having in the ec optional addition because ec core is having these things but these are the things which are also consolidated into the ec that is into the employee center so time of will capture you have seen that into the job information the holiday calendars and time uh, work schedules time profile these all consolidated into the time profile time sheet is basically if somebody is like in your company you have the capturing of your fingerprint your uh, id cards so these all things are on to the positive time recording and negative time recording what is the positive time recording you are coming to office at um, 8 o'clock in the morning and in at 5 pm uh, ist you are going back like to your home so you have the time shift that is from 8 to 5 okay that is the positive time recording but you have the rule in your system if you will take the uh, break more than 1 hour or maybe the 2 hours so there would be the half day will mark for you okay so this would be the negative time recording we will capture in the time sheet overtime also we can capture here so these are the clock duration and clock recordings we can do and this is totally a different module time sheet we will not have the, the feature that is into the ec we will have the time sheet that is totally different uh, way so as of now we have to focus on to the ec time off because this is the third from the third party we can drive the time sheet we will capture all the things that is into the chronos or in the other uh, system and we will have the der- derivation from that system to the success factor okay global assignment so for an example if somebody is working in the india and uh, they have the project requirement in us okay so the person go from india to us it doesn't means that the india position is vacant as of now the it is also occupied the person is marked as a re- right to return there is a feature in the success factor which i'll explain to you the position management so there is a feature that is called right to return in which the person is 
now is working in us but whenever the project will over there in us so he can come back in india and he will have the same position in india so that is called the global assignment what is called the concurrent employment is basically like you are having the one position here uh, for an example uh, you are working as a recruiter here also you you have a different position that is called hr uh, employee engagement also you need to do so there are two jobs you are doing in the same company that is called concurrent employment in which 0.5 of your ft ft is uh, your equivalent that is your uh, the position that half position is for uh, the recruiter and 0.5 is for your uh, employee engagement position so that is called the concurrent employment last is which we are having the contingent workforce in contingent workforce we will hire some person like for 6 months 7 months it means like uh, for success factor uh, there are some of the contingent positions also they hired the person like for 6 months one year whenever the uh, project get uh, gets over so the person got automatically uh, like terminated from the system as per the agreement that they are having so for one year for specific duration of like of 6 to 1 year that we are uh taking that person in the system i think se several things are already like explained from my side any questions till now guys please ask hi can you please explain again uh, contingent workforce which one contingent workforce the last one okay contingent workforce is basically like uh, you have opening the one position in the company okay and that is for 6 months or the uh, maybe the one year duration that depends totally on your requirement maybe it, it would be for two years also but that is for some duration that would not be uh, like there is a work order information it means work order information is means like for which duration you are hiring that person you hired as a recruiter there for 6 months only after the, the project gets over so you can terminate it automatically from the system so your termination date is also reflecting in your uh, employment detail it means that like you hired on 1st january and your 1st june and 1st july date is already mentioned as a terminated date in the system is this clear to you yes thank you okay now uh, moving ahead uh, that is with the this is the main thing which we need to understand from the implementation methodology okay what how we uh, like doing the implementation because from my perspective every session i'll derive from the implementation methodology because you guys once you shortlisted for any of the job so you need to do the implementation which is very important to understand it how you will do the uh, preparation the explore part the realize and the deploy you, most of the guys you are already you, you, who who is already working on to the sap who they are using the sap activate methodology already okay but uh, to understand from the success factor perspective that is like these four same uh, what we can say the phases we are having in the system to understand but what is like the prepare it means like in this preparation field we need to have the clarity what the legacy system is having currently in the system and how what is the data they are having in the legacy for an example we required the business unit we 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 need a divisions department are they currently having division departments or not we need to have the clarity in the first call okay that is called the preparation or what we can say the kick off meetings the uh, kick off meetings and the workshops in workshops we will gather all the information from the client that what you have as of now in your legacy and how we need to pursue from here from this step to last step okay so this is called the preparation explore in the explore phase we will have uh, the, this is our success factor and this is your legacy system how the mapping will done for an example you have the job structure in this way in the legacy but in the success factor we have these pointers so we need to do the mapping from the sap same to the success factor or from the any of the system they are using maybe they are using the workday also 
maybe they are using the oracle they are using anything from um, from the hr hcm perspective as of now maybe they are using the darwin box also so how we are driving from that uh, system to legacy system to the current system of success factor okay so this is called the explore phase in which we will realize that what is the solutions we need to map and what is the gaps which we are seeing in the system we need to configure the things and we need to have the onto the sprint phases for an example sprint 1 sprint 2 and sprint 3 it means like the phases which we are having in the sprint 1 we will cover some topics in the sprint 2 we will cover some topics and sprint 2 we will cover some topics so after completion of these three sprints we will done the explore phase in which we will have the solutions we have the mapping we have done the mappings of every of the pointers from the legacy to the success factor okay the last which we will have the realize that in which what was the requirement they have given to us how we are fulfilling that requirements what are the strategies which we are following the configuration which they have given to us are we doing on the same phase so we need to validate on each and every pointer and with the client also for me uh, i would say uh, the client interaction is the best thing to understand the system and to uh, drive the implementation that is from the legacy to the current system if you're not having the uh, good interaction with the client also i, I don't think so uh, you 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 guys will have the uh, successful implementation also so you need to be very uh, careful uh, while having the sessions with the client so you get the requirement in a in a very easier way because the, the person is not having the knowledge of the success factor maybe it is if he is having the knowledge of success factor that is very good thing for you but if he is not having so you need to explain uh, in a very good or maybe a very calm way like th these are the pointers which we required onto the success factor and you are having these pointers so we need to map each and every from your side also to to our system so we will have the successful implementation of success factor okay so here you can see the configuration which we actually are doing after the requirement session the walk through walk through it means like uh, these are the configuration you given to us and we are completing in the same way now the data migration data migration is totally a different i can say the module in which we will have some templates for an example in template means the fields fields uh you can say for an example uh legal entity or uh, the job information okay job information will uh drive from the some job classification function business unit cost center so these things we will capture in one excel file that is called a template from their side they can fill each and every information in that template and we will migrate that template in our system that is called as by the import we will upload that file in the system by which we will have all the information in the success factor okay after the successful data migration we will have the testing that is called the unit testing also sit we, we, we can say that also the each and every phase testing we can do the testing from the different systems somebody is having the jira is anybody worked on to the jira jira tool i think you most of the guys having uh, 10 to 15 years of experience i think you worked maybe for any of the client for jira tool also okay uh no problem so uh jira or maybe the other uh, testing tools they are having currently in this uh market so they they can use any of the tool for the testing to record that what are the uh, testing pointers which we are testing as of now for the system and these are the pointers on which we are successful okay and in the deploy phase we will have the uh, because you can understand first point that uh, in the every implementation there are three instances the you have seen the first instance which i have shown to you success factor so they are having around three systems that is one is the development second is the testing that is called the preview system and third is the production so whatever we are doing that is into the development firstly 
if the client is okay with our requirement with our configuration so we can say that this is fine if they can say this is fine so we can migrate to the preview system then from preview to the production okay so after all testing and all the things we will do the preparation that is to migrate all the things to the uh, what we can say into the production okay then we will see what is the cutover it means like what are the things which we have not covered whatever the things which we have not uh, done just as per the sap uh, what we can say the restrictions which we are having so after seeing that if there is any solution of of these activities we can do that otherwise we can go live in the go live session we will do some admin trainings also to them that these are the trainings which we will having uh, for the admins to understand i think some of like uh, yours also like somebody is working as a end user for success factor so you also got the training for the success factor firstly then you are using that success factor as of now okay next is uh, this thing which i have explained you this is the iteration one that is called the hello yes uh, yes yeah. farah can you just go back on that screen um, yes. so i just want to understand like at a beginner level mm -hmm. okay because uh, implementation will be new for all of us so yes, yes. at a beginner level in which phase you know we will be you know mostly utilized because we uh, i don't think so like we will be able to give a very um, you know detailed uh, knowledge about uh, you know the in the preparation part so okay what do you I'll think like you. how do I'll we start explain. yeah hmm. i'll explain you again like for, uh, from the uh, other perspective also like in the preparation as a project manager they will prepare the kick off meetings okay they they will explain that uh, to the client that these are the project plan these are the things which we are covering up uh, uh, during this session of three three months from first month we will do the uh, workshop second month we will do the configuration third month we will do the testing okay in the preparation phase your responsibility or your care is at this point of time in the preparation the preparation of the ppts if you are from the employee central pool you need to prepare the ppts that how you will gather the information from the client it means you need to explain in the same way which i am explaining to you you need to explain in a detailed way these are the things which i am looking for the legal entity the business unit divisions and department these things i am looking for okay in this second phase these two phases are very important for each of the consultant who is like working on to the success factor implementation it means like in the explore phase whatever the requirement you gather from preparation field okay you need to have the clarity on to the uh, in this phase it means like you need to do the mapping of a, every sprint that these are the requirements from the client and these are the mappings from the success factor so are we okay and you need to get the confirmation from the client in the explore phase okay in the realize phase you need to do the configuration and the walk through and to the data migration and the testing you need to do any other question for on this i think um, that is the answer to your question hello oh uh, yes you may proceed i think your voice is low can you please speak louder yeah uh, i think yeah it's okay uh, you you may proceed further you got the point correct for yes yes okay fine okay this thing which i have explained you that is called the uh, iteration one that is called uh, what we can say the realize in which you will agree with the foundation data whatever the requirement you will get it like from the client you need to done that is 80 to 90% 60% that is for employee data in the iteration some workflow the and the alerts that i explain you in the later part but this is the overview how you will do the implementation okay we will come back again on this uh, in this slide after once uh, the things are sorted or the things are explained to you because these are the things is very important that is like of the role based permissions the workflows alerts and the employee data in the later part
okay now i have uh, i think just give me a second okay it's almost like of eight okay so you now we will have the only the q a session so please let me know what questions you are having as of now for session one and please let me know so i can explain you and you will have the clarity on any of the issues which you are facing <laughs> Uh, right now, I don't have any question. Okay, so um, one more thing, like I I need to uh want Probably to draw. Can you a... just uh, show hmm. us, like uh, you know, uh, any uh, use case uh, which you can, uh, which we will be, you know, uh, working. Maybe uh, you can show the complete implementation, just a uh, just of uh, you know the complete curriculum. as through what all things we will be uh, going through and how many case studies uh, uh, we will be you yeah, know yeah, working sure, on sure. yeah that i will explain the last five minutes that that i already have in my mind okay. that i will explain you the what are topics like we are we are covering in during the sessions and uh, how you guys like will have the impact that is from this successful training what things we are covering during the session so you can understand the point Each and every point. Any questions till now, like from my explanation? And one more have... thing, like we will be mm. getting the recordings um, once we enroll. Yeah. Yes, uh, of if... course. Okay. That is for lifetime. You will get the recordings for you. Every recording, you will get it. Is anybody having the and, other questions? And uh, from mm. a technical or uh, support ah. perspective. Yes. Like, if we are having any queries in, uh, you know, configuring anything, um, mm -hmm. uh, who will be guiding us? Is it like you, or is there any other uh, team which is, uh, you know, working on it? From which perspective, Para? Uh, if we are, uh, you know, uh, doing a technical setup like a configuration and all. That so I, I find... will do only. I am a uh, that is the certified and the success factor specialist. Whatever the configuration related to the success factor, mm -hmm. I will explain you each and every. Uh, configurations also okay but uh, if we are practicing and uh, if we are facing any difficulties so is there any there. point of i will be there i will be there for an example we will having five days mm -hmm. uh, for the session in in a week so mm -hmm. on the alternate days we will have the some configuration i will give in, give everyone like for the configuration if you are facing for that uh, any of the con issues in that configuration so please let me know i will explain you in that same uh, duration of that call on the alternate basis okay okay and uh, what do you think on an uh, you know on an average like um, <clears throat> if we uh, start now so uh, mm -hmm. when when can we you know portray ourselves uh, to you know get uh, the job uh, probably in this uh, module uh that is i think very uh, initially like i you need that answer but uh, from my perspective i can say that today like if that is the first session i think after i think uh, the 30 day session because it will require 30 days or maybe 35 days to understand the each and everything because there are so so many pointers which we are having in this employee center and there are so con there are so many configuration which will i explain you and some scenarios also i'll explain you from the implementation which uh, i was like doing into the implementation so we you will have the better clarity while facing the client while facing the any company because they will ask not ask you uh, the definition of any of the field they will ask you the scenarios these are the scenarios on which you need to work okay okay so uh, now i will explain you what are the topics uh, that we will cover just give me a second okay is this visible to all so the, if you can go on to the uh, you know greek uh, site also so there is already uh, the syllabus is there okay fine the full syllabus you are having for 40 days like what we are covering so as of now we are having these topics on which we need to focus 
this is called like as of now today we have explain i explained you about the architecture what like it seems to be this is success factor uh, architecture what are the core concept concepts we are having in the system that we will explain later on the role based permission rules data models position management if you will go through from these things okay i think you surely will have the uh, the preparation for the coming job uh, uh, interviews because uh, they will ask you more on to the practical what you are uh, going through so i will explain you each and every like of the configuration which is required for the implementation so you will not be a blank while uh, giving the interview you will have the each and every answer while giving you the uh, interviews so this is from my side i will uh, give it to you other than this what uh, we can offer in the uh, course so that uh, that would be the sample resume some of the interview questions also like some of the requirements which we already have done in the past or in the current phase for the implementation what i am doing so that will i all also explain to everyone so you will have the same phase that how you will do the configuration for the uh, coming clients also okay so what i have seen is in the jd generally they ask for two uh, implementation projects mm. so we we will uh, like after the course completion uh, can that be you know can we showcase that like we have uh, implemented or uh, we know uh, regarding this question for i think you need to check with uh, someone like from the um, like the person like from unigix once you will doing the enrollment also after these two sessions mm -hmm. so you can have the question with uh, the team members about uh, because from our side what we can do the sample resume and with like of uh, the list of some interview questions with of the clients also which we are having so mm -hmm. uh, we will post your resume and we will uh, connect with the clients also some of the clients for getting the job as soon as possible for you but regarding of the two implementation and the other things we need to connect with the members one one is from you know breaks okay so. and what about regarding the certification part uh... certification uh, you need to do that is from uh, the sap side but for the preparation i have uh what we can say the preparation that what are the topics uh, the employer center certification will cover so i will explain you one by one topic that that was uh, after the uh, configuration and to the explanation after maybe the 20 30 days you will get to know because each and every pointer so we will discuss that employer center certifications also pointers that what pointers uh, certification will cover and we will explain one by one to you as well so like uh, guidance will be there but uh, what you can say uh, any support will be there on getting the certification like uh, actually what will be the fees for getting the certification like for sap uh for one of the module if you want to give so it almost like of uh, 15 to 16 a k that is for one module if you want to give for six module six attempts you want to take that is around of cost of 45k so that is from the sap side sap okay. success factor side that is not from uh, any of the so you can log in from your personal id because uh, that is from the directly from your side that you need to log in and you need to uh, what we can say the register for the success factor uh, certification and but if you want to prepare for the certification that we will surely uh, give you the guidance and the preparation for the certification what are the topics they will cover and how you can give this certification so is there any weightage like uh, we carry with if we are uh, you know certified because i have done the ec or certification this december last december i tell <laughs> and, you uh, for a, that yeah. the certification uh, from my point of view because during my tenure of the experience i have not seen uh the certification will uh, surely like for the big firms like it will carry some weightage 
what to initiate like from the uh, as a starter or what we can say from the success factor consultant so you need to have the practical knowledge which i will surely give it to you right. after 30, after 30 days once you will complete the session from my side you will surely have the practical knowledge because i know that i will cover only the uh, practical and the implementation knowledge for you guys because i don't think so other than this you will be needing any theoretical knowledge because theoretical you can take it like from the books also which i will give it to you as well that is the sap books also that is uh, relevant to you which you need to cover but the, with the theoretical the practice you will have the combination of both practical and theoretical i will you will have the good knowledge on to the success factor you can do anything like in uh, the future that the certification will not having uh, in the initial phase you will not need to have the certification you firstly you have to have the knowledge about it that's why we yeah, are and i have seen like it's uh, mostly multiple choice uh, questions are there and it's all uh, theoretical rather in the in the certification which i had given yes, and i yes. think it got expired in 3 months so doesn't hold any value no, it's, it's you know it's not got expired i have also certified mm -hmm. and that mm -hmm. is valid till one year now if mm -hmm. you have given it after january 2024 so it will have the uh, what we can say the expiration that is till one year but you need to give the delta exam which i have explained you in the initial phase that the releases are coming for every success factor after 6 months okay right. module so you need to give the delta exam that is called the delta exam it means like these are the updates for an example 10 updates are there for any of the module so you need to uh go through that updates and just give that exam on on to the basis of 10 updates so you will be again having the delta certification also with the, your certification okay. so this is not about the you will got expired after 2 months or 3 months but mm -hmm. uh you need to be updated on to the certification okay uh, will we uh, receive a certificate from your end like at the end of the course that is from uh, the you know gigs i i'll confirm and uh, will confirm you by tomorrow also on this part that is from the you know gigs not from the sap side from the sap side yeah. you need to uh, go and uh, do the uh, enroll certification yeah enroll enrollment is must like for them that is not from our side but for the you know gigs side i i'll ask uh, the team also like how they are doing that okay okay fine so for today's i think uh, we are done with the topics i think that is the overview on this part i explained you tomorrow we will uh, start with the different uh, topic so you guys will be having the full architecture knowledge on to the uh, sap then we will forward it to from the third session we will go from the configuration part then how we will configure each and everything in the success factor okay hello is it fine yes yeah okay okay thank you thank, thank you. you everyone thank you thank you thank you